Hi guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with After Effects. Let's get started. So I have three scene composition, scene 1, scene 2 and scene 3. These vectors from freepick.com, I will add download link and project files. Let's first step, select the scene 1, move to inside or main composition. And select this scene 2, move to inside again or main composition. And scene 3, move to again main composition. Let's hide scene 2 and scene 3. Open scene 1 and let's make a little animation for this character. First step, select this and this icon and this money icon. Go to window, open animation composer 3 and let's open starter preset. Open effect to the layer and let's open this folder and let's select one any effect for these icons. Okay, this is not bad. Let's select this and click Apple button. Close animation composer window. And let's see. Okay, then select this and let's change intensity 25. Let's see. Okay, and select this, change 15. And select this money icon, change intensity 32. Okay, nice. Then select this and change angle minus 45, let's see, for random animation and select this, change angle like this. Okay, not bad, good. Then select these icons and press T, change opacity 0, make opacity keyframe and go to here change opacity 100 let's see okay good and hold shift press p make new passing keyframes frames and go to first second let's select this and move to up like this let's see okay and select keyframes, frames make easy and press P for C only these shape frames. Select these two passing shape frames. Go to graph editor and make smooth graph. Let's make smooth graph like this. Okay, select last shape frames. Move to right. Okay, nice. Let's close shape frames and lock layers. Okay, then select this layers cap eyes and face eyebrow pair onto this head select this head pair onto this body and select body go to solo click this icon for see background and select palm behind the icon move to anchor point here click section tool and go to first second let's unsolo press air let's see okay let's move to down let's see again okay good so let's make rotation shape frame and go to 10 shape frame change rotation like this okay let's see okay select shape frames move to right and make shape frames easy let's again okay go to here for bones effect let's select this here hold shift press p make new passing shape frame and go to here move to down this here Go to last shape frame, select first shape frame, control C, control V. Let's select shape frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, nice bones effect. Let's go to here, make new rotation shape frame, go to 10 shape frame. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in the keyboard, and change rotation minus 10. And select these three passing shape frames, control C and control V and move to here let's see okay good and go to here make new rotation keyframe go to 5 keyframes 
and select first keyframe, Ctrl C, Ctrl V for loop animation. Again, select these three passing keyframes, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and move to here. Let's see. Nice. Let's see. Okay, good. Let's go to first second and select this layer line. Okay, go to solo and click this icon. Then go to pen tool and let's make one line like this. Click selection tool and go to click fill, close fill, none, click OK and go to stroke, chain stroke width like this. Okay, nice. Select again this line, change stroke color to dark blue and click OK. Nice. Then select this line and delete. Select this shape layer, add name line and unsolo and move to up. So select this line, go to add and open trim paths. Open trim paths one here. Change end zero and make end keyframe go to here and change 100 select keyframes make easy let's see select keyframes go to graph editor make smooth graph then select this character layers cap eyes face eyebrow head and body let's right mouse pre comps add name character and click ok so let's hide character and in this time select this circle move the anchor point down click selection tool and go to window open animation composer 3 open start a preset and open to the layer and let's use this overshot scale okay let's see nice select this tier in move right and move to right this circle and let's select the chair height and laptop height let's see okay after this line select this circle and let's move to here okay and let's unlock these icons and move to right like this and let's enable this character okay so in this time select this character and let's press p go to here make new passing keyframe move to right and move to down this character let's see okay select keyframes make easy and go to graph editor select this graph make smooth let's see again okay and in this time select this circle let's control d and select this character move to center this circle layers and if you not see here click this toggle switch mode and select this character composition change known to alpha matte circle 2 let's see select this graph move to left okay nice so let's go to 5k frames move to down again go to 5k frames move to up for bones effect let's see select key frames last three key frames right mouse key frame interpolation change auto bezier to linear click ok let's see ok and select key frames move to left ok good so select these icons move to left let's see ok nice and in this time select this laptop let's let's unhide and press p go to first second make new passing keyframe, frame move to right and move to right this object select keyframes, frames make easy let's go to graph editor make smooth graph let's see okay nice and select this chair let's unsolo and move to back here this character okay and press p make new passing keyframe. frame go to first second move to left select keyframes, frames make easy 
Go to graph editor, select this graph, make smooth, let's see. Okay, good, and let's select this last shape frame, move to right. Okay, very nice.